Look at my hair. I feel uncomfortable with that staring. Oh. Okay. We have a new movie to review. We didn't even watch it together. We sure watched didn't. it separately. I watched it first, and then I insisted Maria watch it. She made me. And... I had a feeling in my gut that I just didn't want to watch it for some reason. Uh, the Innkeepers. The Innkeepers. Um, you know, we're not professional like some of you other YouTube reviewers. I have no idea what any of the stars' names are. No. Um, but And who cares? You don't know any of them. So, um, well, actually, Kelly McGillis. Oh, yeah. Uh, Top the Gun. Top Gun. Okay. Things have changed. Oh, she was yeah. a fox in she Top Gun. She did not age well. She Things have gone downhill. Either way, um, the movie is about a hotel, um, and they're, it's going, about to be closed. They're going on a business, so it's like their last yep. week. And there's two staff members, a young, blonde, young woman. Blonde, short-haired, cute as a button. And um, a guy, I'm not sure, I mean, I think he what, is like 30. 30. Um, but it's, they work there, and it's, since it's the last weekend, they're just staying there in the hotel, kind of taking turns sleeping and working the front desk. There's a weird woman there with her kid. Then she the, doesn't then, need anything. Then the Top Gun chick shows up. I guess she's like she's a, like an actress and a medium as well. well. Now, yeah. Well, first she's an actress, yeah. and then you have to wait for twenty four minutes, and then you find out that she is a medium or whatever. She's got some stupid crystal. Yeah. And the chick is like, "I'm trying to find this ghost that's in this hotel, a dead woman." Apparently, who they... it was some sort of like bride. Like, the groom didn't oh, yeah. show up, the, so she, she the killed herself. The fiancé didn't show up, so she hung herself, and then the people who and own the hotel hid her body in, in the in the basement cellar, the wood. For three days. And then they found out that what was going on, and... I think they were doing it because it was new, and they didn't want um, they didn't business want it to, be bad to be bad, press. so they could hit her down there until they could get her out secretly. Right. So, um, this, uh, back in, you know, today, so that was back in the day they did that, but the... Man and woman who work at the hotel now are kind of interested in the whole legend of this dead bride. And oh they're, yeah, they're, they're trying, trying recording to find an EVP, EVP recordings. And um, here's the deal: it moves really slow. I really slow. Way, way. There way are moments too I feel slow. like. So many good opportunities to put some little scare in. And if they were trying or, to go for the, this is really suspenseful, the fact that we don't, people are just going to be this scared in the theater and there'll be no payoff. No. 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 Bored. People, people are losing attention. And they want to pull their hair Mid-movie, out. Mid-movie, Maria left and had a cigarette. I was, it was only like half an hour in. I was like, get me out of here. I, I mean, it's just that slow. It's so they, slow. They work at the front desk. They go to bed. They Get up. Do you know how many, how many creepy moments there were? Three. Two. Oh. I only had two. Um, the chick in the bed, yeah. the dead woman sitting up, and then the, not even the old guy at the top of the stairs, but the old guy, like, at the end of the hall, or yeah. whatever. I, um, uh, spoiler, if you, if you don't want to know the ending, go ahead and turn it off, but, um, somehow, they sort of have some sort of little seance thing, and the girl thinks she feels that woman... And the guy gets freaked out and leaves. Right. And leaves the girl alone. Um, I don't quite remember the circumstances. Kelly McGillis was like, don't go in the basement. Get out of here. Don't do this. Right. And of course, she like... So she goes into the basement. No, well, she goes to the top of the stairs. And I think she turns around. And this other gentleman who came to stay at the hotel, um, who had recently killed himself in the in a hotel room. I think he was the... He was standing He was there. the groom. I think he was the groom as well. Yeah. He was standing at the top of the stairs, all bloodied and nude. Obviously, I think, a ghost. Well, he had killed himself in the bathtub. Yes. Did you just say that? I didn't. I wasn't specific. He killed himself in the bathtub. So, she loses her balance and falls down the stairs. And well, is cracks injured. Cracks her head, yeah. Yeah. And instead of heading back up the stairs, she heads deeper into... The abyss the basement. of the basement. And there are some, there's a, that creepy moment where she turns around and she sees him down the hallway. That's the scare. That yeah. was the other creepy and part. And she keeps running and running and then she finally gets. And she sees the bride, doesn't she? Sees she sees the bride. God. She gets to this door. It's one of those, like, a cellar door. Well, earlier in the movie she had locked the door from the outside. So she's, help, help, help. And the bride, help. the dead bride's kind of approaching. Ascending and upon she's, her. Help, help. And then. And then, and then fade to black, and then the cops are there, and she's dead. And then the dude's like, she was screaming my name, there's nothing I could do. Movie over. 
I, um, I've listened to and watched some reviews on here where people said, um, they quite liked it. They liked the actress. I really liked the actress. Really liked her. I thought she looked like she was about 14. She did a fantastic job. She and was very, um. I liked the actor who played her, like, the counterpart at the hotel. Take him or leave him. I thought he was funny. If in a funny movie, I he, thought he would. He was clever, but you know sell. what? He's—I mean, they're a dime a dozen. Yep, there's that's a true. million of those. Kelly guys. McGillis did a fine job. I mean, it did, for, the, for the part that she had. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean it was this a stupid movie had part. eight cast members. I mean, uh, I'm yeah. not—I'm not joking. Six. Yeah. Six, I think. Either way, five. It six. Whatever was one of the slowest movies I've ever watched, and frankly, the only reason I made Maria watch it was just to torture her a little bit. Really. No. I thought I, it was going to be, cause <laughs> she was adamant that I watched it. And I was like, I she, can't, she I was like, if j even she enjoyed this, resisted. she's crazy. Because this movie sucks. And I kept, I kept pushing it because um, I wanted to do a review, first of all. And second of all, I thought it was interesting because it was kind of a limited release movie. And Why was it limited release? I'm because it sure. sucked so hard. Is that why they limited it? This movie's um, a thumbs down from both of us. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to say thumbs down. Triple, quadruple thumbs. Would you give it a straight F? I would give it a... Well, that blonde girl, though. I'd give it a D because of the blonde yeah. girl. I, I would give really it a D plus her. because of the blonde girl. Great actress. And because of um, the two scare moments were good. If they could have elaborated and expanded on that, it would have been amazing. They were right. No gore. I mean, no boobs. It was very... Slow and crappy. 